Hello and greetings to all of you. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to do some practical on Madman analysis. Some initial tools we'll be utilizing to analyze the file sample. And the file sample I've taken it from Malware Bazaar. Actually, it has a repositories of many malware samples. From here, you can also see there are hashes for the particular malware names and you can from here you can download the samples as well to download I mean to analyze it on your virtual machine. I've taken some samples related to uh, Emotet and in my virtual machine as you already know I've already made a video on Flare VM so on the Windows platform I have already installed Flare VM which is which has the complete repository of uh, malware analysis and reversing so from here I'm today I'm going to analyze some this particular malware sample okay so one more thing to note today I'm going to utilize some of the uh, some of the tools yeah exactly so today I'm going to utilize process explorer procmon proc dot and pe studio and upon that I've also written uh, one Yara rule for this specific malware sample that I'm also going to show you how in the command prompt that how exactly this particular rule detection file is going to analyze this sample and will definitely uh, I mean prompt that this particular file has been matched with some patterns written into in, in this particular rule of the Yara file and it is going to definitely tell you that it is a malware sample. So we will begin with Yara. Okay. Yeah, exactly. As you can see, I've already tested one sample and again for you, I'm going to test it. Actually in the utilities folder, Flare VM has a tool named Yara. It is particularly for file pattern matching rule detection for many malicious samples that have been collected either in repository or you can match to it uh, you can match a particular file sample of Yara to a particular individual malicious file like I'm going to here get utilize this particular mal, uh, malware sample and going to test it against this particular Yara rule that I've created I'm going to show you how what exactly I've created in this Yara. Okay, so you can see this particular Yara rule. It has three subsections. One is meta that where here you have to provide some certain descriptions in order to make the other person understand whichever person is going to re re read this particular rule above you. You should understand what are the certain uh, prior informations about the malware related that you have analyzed and some strings these are considered as IOCs based on this file pattern matching happens against many malicious sample and this is the condition if there are many variables and in that many variables you have to perform many conditions that whether this variable should match and this variable should not and some above that Yara rules also utilizes some keywords as well so here I have not mentioned it like it will be something related to no ASCII something it will be related to this there are many keywords that we are going to utilize in later videos so this is a sample that I have created I am going to utilize it now this is the Yara 32 for more understanding you can you can use the help switch from here you can understand there are many switches that you can actually utilize but today I'm going to use only hyphen s that is going to prompt out all the strings and hyphen r for yeah for recursive recursive search directories okay and I'm going to copy that exact yara file that I have and I'm going to test it against the malicious sample that I've downloaded from Malware Bazaar. Okay, now we are going to hit enter. And as you can see, there are many IOCs. So it is not necessary that all the IOCs are going to match against the file sample that you are analyzing. Any of 
and I, as I have mentioned the condition or so any of which can get identified if any of which can get identified it definitely means that my sample rule detection sample is successful so we can analyze it I think for this particular sample this output we are going to identify in the command prompt let's see yeah actually now you can see we have identified this one I mean this Yara rule did has detected this particular file to be a sample and where it has matched the particular sample which IOC has been identified it has also prompted over here okay this is the first tool that we utilized to in order to make us understand that this particular file could be malicious now what we are going to do is we have put this file in PE studio okay PE studio is basically used for static analysis and in order to understand the export imports and strings and the in other indicators and along with that some SHA file hashes okay so begin with this okay this particular file has this file hash as it definitely matches with 59EE1 and is the similar one so now we are not going to utilize it but we can also look at other parameters okay CPU is 32 bit and what are the other details time timestamp is also important you can make look of it it can also be utilized in creating IOCs okay the first byte here it has also mentioned the file signature from here you can understand that what kind of file executable or whatever the file type it is you can understand MZ means it is an executable and file header yeah see here you can see it's a proof that it has written true means it is an executable process 32 bit yeah it is a 32 bit processor and directories we can also see that but i'm more interested in the imports see this malware sample has a lot and lot of and here this particular p studio also mentions the exact metai techniques it is using a lot of libraries you can see lots and lots of libraries so whenever if you people don't know about the particular libraries you can read it online and there are many things as a DLL that a malware sample utilizes before executing okay and there has to be some resources this we have to also look more strings we are going to look at the strings okay let's see ASCII strings we have and see there are many type of strings the program is cannot be run in a DOS mode okay and these are the it means to say that some registry modification will happen with this malware and some executables are there I don't know what exactly these things are but yeah with many other practical videos we will come to know what exactly it is we'll see how long the strings are okay it is also using some API functions as you can see and some random strings okay so this is what happened in PU studio it is a static analysis now what we are going to do is we are going to perform dynamic analysis dynamic analysis means we are going to execute this malicious sample and we are going to see what exactly it happen. it is going to happen I mean it is going to interact with the local system how exactly it is going to modify the system or what exactly it does so in order to analyze the running processes within the system what we have done is we have used process explorer at the moment I did not start any execution so we can see what are the process which are being run in the system
these are the things and along with that I've also started proc mod currently I've placed it in a pause mode and I've also cleared all the logs but once I'm going to execute this malicious sample I have to start this one so that the process running can be can be visible over here and all the logs will be collected in process monitor and later using the file that we have captured in process monitor we are going to execute we are going to analyze that in procmon because procmon takes the input of process monitor in csv file and it is going to provide a data visualization of the process monitor file okay let's see Okay. Okay, something is happening. You can see that. Okay, let's see. Let's just start capturing. Okay, we can see some dot pick sixty four executable. We can see the process is running and it is still running. Jet Brian's, I don't know what exactly it is doing. But we can right click, we can look at the properties and we can see many, many things. Threads we can see. Okay. CPU utilization cycles, delta. Mm. Strings we can see. Let's see. Okay. Memory. What is going on with the memory? Okay. We are going to run this executable for five minutes. After which we are going to pause process monitor. Then we are going to extract the CSV file from process monitor. And as you can see, we have. This particular executable over here and it is being run this particular thing and you can see the CPU utilization is there disk utilization network no network action has been taken yet okay input output okay CPU you can see it is utilizing CPU to almost 100% max We'll see what exactly happens. Performance. Mm -hmm. Environment. Okay. There are many things that you can utilize. You have to just right click and also from the properties you can utilize. You can try to understand many other things. The threads can be analyzed. And what are the IP communication that is happening if it is happening. Some job which this process is taking. See the process ID is also mentioned over here. Strengths you can utilize and you can also use some other tools as well for analyzing the tools for analyzing the strengths. Okay, disk and network performance. Okay, so these are the only things. Okay. Now what we are going to do is okay. Okay, I'm just closing all the activities that are being taken by the malware. Okay, we will stop and we will stop capturing the files and now we are going to extract it in the CSV format. Okay, even displayed using current filter also include. Okay, fine. This is the path programs. Where it is getting. Okay, log file dot csv. Okay, fine. 
let's wait for some time by the time it is going to export the event file to csv format okay now what we are going to do is see now you can see the moment i close it it also closes all the processes maybe it is not auto deleted by some other dls within okay now what we are going to do is we are going to analyze it prop dot okay Okay, this is the file sample that we got collected and now we are going to use it and upload it in proc. so that we can get some data visualization for the same. Okay, what exactly happened? Yeah, I have taken that CSV file. Okay, no issues. In the next video, we will again continue with utilizing this particular tool with some other sample. As of now, I think we should uh, keep this video till, till this time. And for the next video, definitely I am going to show you how this proc dot is being used.